In the previous exercise, we utilized the Import Export Data tab and the Export to Spreadsheet option. Now we're going to do that again, but we're going to look at importing data from an updated spreadsheet. So we need to add this drawing to the project. So it's a right click on the project first, add your active drawing and yes to the project default values. As you can see, it's already taken on board the sequential sheet this time. It's O2 importing data. So we don't need to worry about actually changing our drawing properties in the project. Now save your drawing so that the data is saved. Then we're going to export here using the export panel on the import export data tab. I'm going to go to a spreadsheet, components only like we did before and OK it. I'm going to data export only the active drawing and in an Excel file format. Location codes to extract all of them and I OK that. Now it's going to save it with the same name as the drawing, importing data, and there's the XLS file, importing data. I'm saving that to my desktop, as you can see there, and I'm going to save that there now. As you can see, data lines extracted is 10. Now, I'm going to do an Alt tab and go to Excel. I'm then going to click on Open, and there on my desktop is my importing data spreadsheet. Double click on it to open it and all I'm going to change are some of the fields in the description field here. So description 1, so that's description line 1. So those F1, F2, F3 are fuse holders. So let's go to that one there and put in fuse holder. And that's all it's going to be, press enter. Now to make your field a little bit wider, your column there in Excel a little bit wider, just go to there, see when the black icon appears with the arrows on it? Double click when it appears and it updates to make the column the width of the text you've just put in. Select Fuse Holder there and then click and drag on that little black box there. See the black cross that appears? And drag that down to F3. Updates all three fields for you. M1 there, we're going to put in Motor, like so. And that's it. That's all we're going to change. We're going to save the spreadsheet now by clicking on Save and then go to this little cross here, not the red one, because that will close Excel, the one below it. So we close our current spreadsheet. OK, I'm just going to minimize Excel now. In fact, I'll do it quicker. Let's do an Alt tab and just go straight back to AutoCAD. Now, my spreadsheet has been saved, but more importantly, it has been closed. You cannot run an import if the spreadsheet is open. So what I need to do now is go to the Import panel here on the Import Export Data tab and go from Spreadsheet. Goes to Desktop because that's where the last spreadsheet was saved and it's asking for importing data because it knows the name of the drawing. Open that up. I'm going to do it for the active drawing and I'm just going to force the spreadsheet new values to appear in uppercase. I'm going to OK that now. Can you see importing data? Sheet 1 references found 10. Mismatches found, changes made 14. Notice, look, fuse holder, motor, it's all been updated. So if I zoom in on my fuse holders here now, like this, click on that one, right click, edit component, fuse holder has gone into the description list there. I'll OK that. If I click on the next one here, right click, edit component, like so, edit component there, fuse holder, and I'll OK that one. So you can see there, I'll just check the motor just to be on the safe side. Let's do an edit component on that one, and that's got motor in the description field as well. So I'll OK that. So as you can see there, importing data from a spreadsheet, very quick, very easy. Just two things to remember, your macro security in Excel. Set it to low so that the macros that bring the data into the spreadsheet don't cause you any security issues.